this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There are several great improvements. If you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. Multicursor now supports screen readers. When you add a new cursor, VS Code will announce it, telling you the line number and column position. DIV selected, cursors added, line 24, column 15, cursor added, line 25, column 14. Screen readers were also limited to 100 lines of code that could be announced at a time. This has now been increased to 1,000 lines of code, and they are looking into removing the limit altogether in a future update. Encryption has changed on Windows, and because of this, users will be automatically signed out after this update and will need to sign back in. Again, this is just for Windows users. The VS Code brand icons have been updated on Mac OS Big Sur to match the new visual style. Looking good. Recently, tab decorations were added and were optional. In this update, they are now on by default. I like them, so I'm okay with that. But you can make changes to these in the settings using Workbench Editor Decorations Color and Workbench Editor Decorations Badges. The Keyboard Shortcuts Editor now uses the Table Widget, which makes this editor easier to read at times since we can now resize the columns. The Terminal now has profiles that can be defined to launch non-default shells. VS Code will automatically detect what it can, but you can also customize these profiles in the settings. Do you want to install VS Code on your Raspberry Pi? Well, if your Raspberry Pi is running Raspberry Pi OS, it's as simple as sudo apt update and sudo apt install code. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.